Welcome back. This is segment number three of my recent visit with my friend Bruce and his fish room. And in this one, we're talking about what you can do with a simple 10-gallon tank. This one, just shrimp, snails, and one endler's guppy left, or endler's fish. I don't know. Are they guppies? Anyway, and a couple uh, pygmy catfish. But anyway, it's an interesting tank. So join us as we talk about this particular one, the third of his four tanks. Coming over, Bruce, talk, talk about this tank now. This is well, what size? The 10, the 10 gallon tank is, uh, it has shrimp in it and a few pygmy type corridors catfish. Any endlers left in there? I'm sorry? Any endlers left in there? Do you one. have in? One? There's just one left. If we I, go out I, fishing I, I, today, I, I, you want to try and find some, or are you giving up on them? I might. I might. It's possible. Okay. Um, Again, even a 10-gallon tank, it's amazing to me, as much as I like big tanks, what you can do with a small tank. Oh, yeah. That's the reason I got those 10-gallon tanks going in downstairs, so I can keep just individual species of fish that if you put them with other fish, they would be intimidated. I see the one endlers in the back. It's always amazing to me. I don't know how small or big a tank is. If you think of a particular fish that's in there, you can find it, even among all the plants. That's true. And, and I see way in the back on the right is that one endlers. Yep. Interesting. So your shrimp look like they're the doing shrimp, very well here. There's probably about eight shrimp in there at the moment. Oh, there's got to be more than that. If I can see eight and, without uh, even trying. Uh, they're the cherry shrimp. They're the very common ones. Uh, and it's unusual in that the males don't show much color. The females are, are bright red and uh, very attractive. Huh. But the males are sort of translucent color, just a tinge of orange or, or red to them, and that's all. And I can see your small catfish down here. Uh, yeah, it's a pygmy, pygmy type catfish. They won't grow any bigger than that. I, I, Okay, they're not the os the os what's the one that very common os ocelots or something like that. There's a small catfish. It's a sucking catfish. That, oh, a sucking catfish. Yeah, these are not. I can no, see them now. No, these are. I thought they were. They're still a member of the Corydoras family, but it's a dwarf species. Yeah. Okay. And so for a tank with shrimp that would be food for any Most, reasonable size right. fish, yeah. this one is uh, yeah. not. And that we can see this one, fact, one of the, one the, right. of the uh, um, articles that I read about the shrimp. They said the male shrimp are smaller in size than the females. So if you have some fish that are uh, inclined to eat them, they'll eat the smaller ones first, which means you'd wind up with only females left. Huh. And of course, you have an Amazon sword in this tank as a center. Yep. Centerpiece is doing very well. That's right. Some coloration. What's the colored plant to the right there, that bright red? That's a, a, member, a member of the Hygrophila family, I believe. Okay, that's close enough for my. <laughs> and what's that? Is that a uh, banana plant in the right, or is that a. No, that's No, that's else. a. Um, i trying to think of the name of it now. Um, anyway. Can't think of it all thing. And then what's the spiky one down in the center there? Is that a well that's what I call it, is a spike plant. Okay. And I, I don't know how the hell it reproduces, but I'll find a plant in another location uh, that has developed and I don't know how they um, Propagate? reproduce. Yeah. Whether whether they send out uh, seeds or whatever but I find them in different locations in the tank than what I put them in originally huh. additional plants huh interesting interesting the water sprite that you gave me oh uh, water wisteria water wisteria I'm sorry yeah. right uh, disappeared in oh, the two yeah. big tanks over time the fish ate it or whatever yeah and they got lost in the jungle of course so okay. they get enough light I guess but I had a couple of sprigs of those that you brought to me and I put them in the office tank, okay. which is a totally different tank. The lighting is totally different, much less. And how are they doing now? They're doing great. Yeah, and they're over, very strong plants. Over time, the 30-gallon the hex is about mm, 
24, 36 inches high, and they okay. will grow to the height of that tank. Oh, yeah. And so now I've got about five stalks of them, and I've moved two of those stalks into the corner tank. Okay. And they're thriving at this particular point okay. now. It's only been a week or so. Yeah. So I'm hoping that they do well and they can give that other texture and other color to okay. that corner of the tank you've seen in my videos. 